<laughs> What's going on, guys? Back again for another episode of Rants Reacts Futsal Edition. Team GB going business. Um, game number three of the league. Um, currently top of the league. Um, two games played, two games won. Up against Finta Futsal, Brazilian Futsal team with plenty of experience, international players, players that play in the National League. And this was always going to be the hardest game of the season. Two of the favourites for the league, to be honest. Really, they're the favourites for the league, but we always fancy ourselves in it. We go out there to win games and we're always positive. So we knew this was going to be the hardest game of the season. So yeah, without further ado, you guys enjoy. Right, the game just starts and we're just keeping possession, trying to get them out of position. And as you can see, they're very, very well organised. Great press. Look at the way they're, they're pressing us. Billy on the ball here. And they're super well organised, man. I think three or four of their players have played at international level and they've got quite a few that play nationally. So they're the, they're the favourites massively for the league. I'm rightly so super experienced, but... Early on, we're moving the ball decently well. Great strike as well from Osama. You already know if Osama gets an opening, he's going to let it fly. Long throw from their goalkeeper. And you can see the speed of the game already. Great feet here. Comfortable hands. Out to Osama again. Loves that roll. Always looking for half a yard to get a shot off. Into side. Bounce it out to Lou. Speculative one. And we're just pinning them back, um, keeping the pressure on early, but they're very well organised, press well. And even though we're having a lot of ball, you know what I'm saying, they're, they're, they're fairly com comfortable under pressure. Very experienced team. Great strike again from Osama. And then look where they are now. We've got one, two, three players high up the court and we get caught in transition. Look at that. And then we've got a 1v1 here. I'm punished immediately. And yo, that, that is the difference, man. That is the difference. Um, obviously, we got loads of players learning the game. Bills has represented England, futsal. Sam has played at a good level. But other than that, the rest of the boys have played recreationally, but not, not really. This is the first time playing in a league. So we're still learning. And this was a great game to learn because I picked up so much tactically uh, from this game, playing against like experienced players. Like we're a young team, innit? Like, the eldest player on the team is 24 years old. Them guys, the other team, man, these guys are older than me, man. Do you know what I mean? They're probably in, like, their mid to late 30s. Um, very experienced. A lot of them... And they had an FA coach as well, man. So, like, very good team. Very experienced team, man. But do you know what I'm saying, man? <laughs> these are the kind of games that you love, man. These are the kind of games that you love because you get to see what level you're at in it. And look at the patient build-up from them. This is beautiful, man. Like, watching this on the side, look. We're defending well, but they just keep moving the ball. They just keep moving it. Like, no one's really driving with it to try beat beat anyone. They're just passing it side to side and trying to draw us out. Great feet in here. Bounce. Bounce. 2-0. And, and that's it. But look at the patient build-up. But then look at the little sneaky move, yeah? At the back post from my man here. With the armband, look, he plays the plays the ball, yeah. No, look, look at this guy here. He's chilling. Obviously, in futsal, it's not like five a side. In five a side, you're not allowed in the area. My man's literally goal hanging, bro. Like literally, look where he is. He's behind the goalkeeper. That's mad, isn't it? And stuff like that, you're learning as you go along, isn't it? Because man are not used to that. So this is where the experience comes in, man. And it was it was really really interesting to play against a team of this level. And understand, yeah, like just the levels in the game, innit? Like, beautiful goal, man. Beautiful goal. Super patient build up, man. Now, I mean, these Brazilians ain't playing. Well done, Bills to Lou. That's what I mean. It just needs to be a bit quicker. It just needs to be a bit quicker there. Great roll there. Back post again. That's a madness. And it's 25 minutes each half. So, obviously, I've edited it. So, it looks like the goals were quite close together. They weren't really as, as close together. But their build-up and their patience is just beautiful to watch, man. Strike from Osama, man. 
But first half, proper learning learning experience, man. Look at the way they pop the ball around and the way they transition. Great feet. Strike. Madness. Four zip, you know. In like 20 minutes. Crazy. Strike from Rich. And the funny thing is, we started so well. We're moving the ball so well. Didn't score. And then them guys just started opening us up. Like... Just started opening us up. Almost at will, like. Great stuff. Great touch into ads. Into Simon. That's it into Bills. And that's it. The movement. We need more movement up top. If you notice, with us here, yeah, when we were moving the ball, we weren't having... People weren't running in behind, innit? And the thing is, in futsal, you need runners in behind the defence just to disrupt. If you don't, then teams are quite comfortable just playing a half court and a low block and just sitting there in it because the goals are smaller. And in the first half, we weren't really running in behind. If you look at the goals they scored at the back post, they always have someone stretching it in it. And that's a little thing that we picked up throughout the game. And you'll see the way we adapted in um, in the second half after the timeout. But there we go. We start to stretch them a bit more. Then we start to get on the ball. That's it. Into Osama again. Into Billy. That's it. It just needs to, it just needed to be quicker. Bounce again. Now Simon's on the left side. Bounce. Back back into there. There we go. Billy showing. Now we're starting to speed it up. But look at their defense. Look how compact they are. Very, very compact. Strike from Osama. Easy for the keeper. And look, the keeper's just come out and running. It's mad. Another thing that I'd never seen before. Keeper just dropping the ball and running out. Bills on the ball. Into ads. That's it. And I'm shouting Lou, telling him to go into behind. That's it. Going behind. Because that run in there, that was a foul. We didn't get it. But that run there gives them something to think about. That running behind, we weren't really doing in the first half. And then we started to clock the game. That clock what was going on. And we just started to grow into the game. Great feet again. Look at this goal. Oh my days, bruv. Look at this goal. Like, this is how the game's meant to be played, innit? Minimal touches. Movement one, two, three, four, five. It's just beautiful, man. Like, when you see stuff like that, you can't even be mad. You know when, like, you just see beautiful football, bruv. I was sitting there. And even though, yeah, the scoreline didn't reflect how the game was going because they, they had a very good goalkeeper and we had some chances in it. But listen, the, the football was absolutely sensational, in it? Absolutely sensational. I was just sitting there in awe of what they were doing, bruv. Like, honestly, I wasn't even too down because I knew how good they were. I knew how experienced they were and I knew we were novices, in it. So my I was managing my expectations. But listen, that was a joke. Man, I need to watch this again. Because literally, this is beautiful. Look at this. One, two, three, four. Come on, bruv. You can't mark that. When men are doing that, like, what can you even do? That's it. Start, start to move it again. Look at the speed of this game, though, guys. Like, this is real time. It looks like it's sped up. Like, this is, this is proper football. Touch from Lou into Bills. Bills goes for the cheeky toe punt there. That's it, bounce. That's what I mean. Look at the look at look at the way they're defending. No space. They're not leaving no space in behind. And then when they attack, look, they got one, two, three people on the break. They attack so quickly. On the break, they're so dangerous. Great tackle from Bills. That when they break, they are so quick. And we've changed sides now. Osama with the free kick. Look how high their goalkeeper is. And the free kick. He's in front of the wall. Just little things like this. We start to pick up little things from them. In the second half. And see what they're doing. Like all the time man's learning isn't it? Out to Osama. Whoops. With a soul roll. And he just loves a shot man. Look at this for a pass. Lovely ball. Great save from the keeper. He comes out and makes the angle, sm uh, angle small. That's why it's a lot harder to score in these these games because when you've got a goalkeeper that knows what he's doing 
they come out and they almost make it impossible. That's why most of the goals you see are just passed at the back post tapped in. Look how the keeper narrows the angle here and makes it super hard for Lou to get to, to get a goal. Look at this. Just comes out. And they've gone long. Great touch from Ads. Great feet from Lofty there and goal. But that's it. We're starting to grow into the game now. Starting to move the ball a lot better. Osama. You see, we start moving the ball quicker. And also, you can see our fitness. This is the second half right now. Our fitness started to play a big part. And we just started to wear them down. Just with our conditioning and the speed that we are moving the ball at. Into Simon. Back to Osama. That's it. Drive up. You see him. We're rotating more. And moving forward. That's it. Well done from Simon. Into Ads. Great ball into Lee. That's it. We're moving it now. Bounce. 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 Great football. Again. And we're, um, and we're going mad right now. Because the ball actually went in and crossed the line. Um, even the guys on the sideline said that it went in the ref didn't give it and you know i was pissed because the ref knew a lot of their players because obviously they play regional and they played international so the ref knows these guys they're well known and you saw before the game and after the game the ref was having a laugh at them i was fuming because that went in yeah and the guys on the other side that played for the other team said the ball went in and they didn't give us the goal and we were fuming look at the way we've we've created this as well we're starting to really turn the screw on them look at the football look at that and it goes he was behind the line and my man's kicked the ball out and yeah, man, we were fuming. The ball went over the line and the ref hasn't given it. And even on the sideline, they're saying it went in, man. And it's fuming. But look at the way the game's changed as soon as we start moving the ball quickly. Simon on the ball. Great ball into ads. Great feet, man. He, he's good in these tight situations there. Gets the shot off. Unlucky. But now, you see, we're starting to monopolise the ball now. Great ball in, great touch from Osama. Good tackle. Bills back on. Rich is on now as well. Osama adds great turn there. Pulls it back. Bills scoops it over the keeper. What a finish, bruv. And we're just applying pressure. It's a mad thing because futsal, just like basketball, and just like five aside, like I think we went in. It was like I want to say it was five. I think it was like five nil at half time. But that's not even a big lead. It's just like in basketball, yeah? In basketball, if you're... You know what I mean? You can be like eight points down in basketball. Like, it's not a lot. Man, man could turn that around, innit? And we're starting to turn the screw on them. Great ball. Great turn there. Look at this touch. Dink over the keeper. Beautiful from Bills. Absolutely love to see it. Do you know what I'm saying? Um, the, the momentum's with us now. We're starting to just grind them down, move the ball quicker. And we've learned from the first half. We started tactically to analyse what they were doing and and we've recovered beautifully, man. Great ball in there. Billy doesn't realise he's got as much time as he does and we spoke after the game and even said, yo, I should have brought it down on my chest but I thought someone was on me. He tries to flick it but this is a great ball from... This is a great ball from Osama here. Look, he spots Billy, pings it into him. He could have chested it down. He tried to flick it but... We're getting in on amongst them now. Quick one into Osama. Whoops, he rolls it. And the keeper doesn't go. Normally when Osama rolls, does the soul roll, normally the keeper kind of buys it. But this goalkeeper's different gravy, man. Like, I thought he'd beaten the keeper here. If you look, whoops, the keeper doesn't go down. He doesn't go down. You know what I mean? But we're putting pressure on them. Lofty's out. And again, he's rolled him. Bounce. And we're just moving the ball beautifully, man into rich and the pressure's on as you can see it was all us in the second half all us into rich good stuff and i'm and bills is shouting use the whole court right now look how we're pressing up on them now and we're getting runners in behind we weren't getting in in the first half look at look at the speed we're moving it one two touches if possible bounce good save and yeah we're just getting we're putting the pressure on them Bang! And out of nowhere, they get another one. Toe punt. That's some, a move that you're going to see a lot in futsal, the toe punt. The speed the ball moves in. Bruv, the ball was in the net before the keeper even knew what was going on. Look at this. No back lift. 
Like really, no pressure there. He's just toe punted it. Look, boom, off the crossbar. Mad thing. Absolute mad thing. And completely against the one runner play to get something out to Rich. And straight in. And then we score straight back. Straight against the runner play, they got one. And then, bruv, Rich hits this, yeah. Deflects off Lou. <laughs> Look at this. Mad thing. The, the smallest touch. Lou's, Lou has to claim that, obviously. But that's what I mean. We're putting it on them. And second half is 2-1 in the second half at the moment. We've managed to stem a lot of the pressure that they were putting on us in the first half. And we've adapted beautifully. And we're putting them under a lot of pressure, man. And to be fair... The goal that got disallowed, the save from the goalkeeper when Lou tries to roll him. Do you know what I'm saying? If those two come in, all of a sudden it's 6-4. Do you know what I mean? And it's a different kind of game. And it was literally the fire margins. Even after the game, um, their captain spoke to one of my boys because he knows him. And he said, listen, you, you, our experience um, done you lot today. Do you know what I mean? You lot are really, really good players. And you can just tell that it was futsal versus football in it. And... Tactically, we just done you in it, but they got a lot of respect for the for for what we done in it. Like we, this is only our third game ever as a team. These guys have probably, well, not probably, definitely have played hundreds of games, not only individually but also together. Out to say, bounce to Rich, back to say, and that's what I mean. We're just starting to move them about now into eighty. Into Rich, re re recovers that. Look at that, well done. Punched it into Ads, into Rich. Punched it into Lou. And we're just moving them around, trying to open them up. All it is, into Simon. Great block from Sai. Out to Ads. Strike. Right, look, we're just moving it, man. We're just putting them under pressure. A lot of pressure. It was just literally wave after wave. Side to Rich. Well done, into ads. And now Rich is making the run. We're just moving them around. A lot more movement. It's so much better. Into Rich. Look at that. Into ads. Simon, one touch. Bounce, bounce, bounce. Flick. What a save from the keeper. Hey, yo, we need to bring that back. And that's another one, you know. That's another one. Look at the build up here. And that's what I mean. That could have been another goal as well. The keeper's actually dived the wrong way. And he stopped it with his legs. Like, we absolutely peppered them in the second half. Look at the ball. Look at the ball. Bounce. 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 Flick. Look, keeper's gone completely the other way. And managed to just somehow keep it out with his legs. This keeper was mad. Keeper was crazy. And it's a wrap, guys. 6-2. And there you have it, guys. And it was a madness. 6-2 um, against Finter Futsal. Um, they got a good few players. They're kind of made from a team called Helvetia. I think they're called um Brazilian team. They play in the nationals, in it, and some brilliant players, man. Do you know what I mean? Tactically, different gravy in it. Like I learned a lot playing against them. Their movement, the way they move the ball. Like technically, we've got some very very good players. Like we can match them for for technique and for skill and all of that. But the IQ, the ball movement, and the experience. Bruv, they were different in it, like, and and that's what it was really. And fitness wise, we were all over them as well, which is great. Um, younger team, so a lot of positives to take from it. But you saw some beautiful goals, beautiful passages of play, and that's what futsal will give you in it. So, um, big up for everyone that's watched that. There's gonna be a lot more futsal videos and also fives videos as well. I'm gonna be entering into a fives league as well. I love the pace of the game. I love the tempo. Do you know what I mean? I love the fact that you have to be technical. You have to be intelligent to play these games. A lot of the time in 11s, you can get away with just being a pace and power player, but there's nowhere to hide in these small-sided games. If you ain't got tech, if you ain't got football IQ, you will be found out, innit? So this is right up my alley. I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I did. Make sure you leave a comment. Do you know what I mean? Big up everyone inside. And yeah, we'll see you again with plenty more of this footage to come. Ha, ha, ha.